Okay, so in this uh, problem in 3.5, we are going to, um, you're going to find out how to figure out the point of intersection. Now, we have done this on graphs. You have done um, multiple lines on a graph. The uh, graph you did early on uh, with the three different fundraising equations had points of intersection. Okay, let's, that's not unusual uh, on the graph on a graph to have points of intersection. The the important piece here is what does that point of intersection mean? What is the big deal about it? So we have a point of intersection. Who cares? What's the big deal? Okay. So in this in this uh, problem, what I'd like you to do is think about starting a business. Okay. So in this case, these people are starting a bakery. Fabulous Fabian's Bakery. So when you're running a business, you have expenses. You have things you're paying for. Think about the things you're paying for. Well, you're paying for if you're renting a house, or, I mean a building. Um, you might have utilities. Um, in this case, it's a bakery. I mean, you'd probably need an oven. You would need, um, you know, utilities. You're probably going to have an electric bill. Um and um, so there's all kinds of things, and I'm, I'm sure you can think of more than that. Um, that would be, you know, monthly expenses. Every month you're going to have those expenses. And then if, you're, if you are making something, you're also going to have those expenses for actually making your product. So when you're looking at the expenses equation, I want you to think about uh, all those different kinds of things. Because you're going to have to identify what the piece is of the equation are. Now your income, uh, if you're in a bakery, I mean your income is gonna be what you get, you know, from selling stuff, right? I mean, you're gonna, you're, you wanna make a profit, so you do want that income to be more than your expenses. Although often starting a, a business, you know, you might have to take out a loan and, um, you know, it's, it's hard to make money right at the beginning. <clears throat> especially if you want to take a salary for yourself. Okay, so I want to look at this. In A, they ask you about what the parts are. And I want to go back and re-look at, again, coefficient and uh, y-intercept. And I, you know, I have, I, I have those down here. Um, again, I wrote them. So just so you know, right here, coefficient, y-intercept, in case you forget but I'm actually going to help you identify them. So in the coefficient we said is the number you multiply times the variable. Now the variable here is n, okay? So let's, I have what E and I uh, have. Let me, let me write, this is number of cakes, okay? That's number of cakes. So we're sure we know that. So that's n, that's it taken care of. Um, in, and I'm looking at this, so I'm looking at the numbers in each equation, I'm multiplying times the variable. So in this case, 3.25 or $3.25, this is the coefficient. Okay, so I don't, I, I want us to get used to identifying these. And in the income um, equation, 6.2 or 8, I mean uh, 8.2 or $8.20, is the coefficient. That is what I am multiplying times the variable. Okay, so that, so when they ask you what the coefficient means, you know what number they're talking about. In the um, ex expenses formula, 825 is the y-intercept. It is the y-intercept. It is the number you are adding in the equation. Now, in this equation, 825 is first, but it's still the added part of the equation because um, we already, it's, it's something added beyond what is going on with that variable. I want you to look at the uh, income um, equation. Notice there is no y-intercept. I could put plus zero, okay, 
but I'm not going to write that because I don't need it. If, I mean, if I'm adding zero, why do I need to write that down, right? So um, every linear equation has a coefficient to the variable, even if it's just one. We've, we've looked at a lot of that uh, going on in um, combining like terms. Um, and it also, all they all have a y-intercept, but the y-intercept might be zero. That's where it starts. It starts at zero on the y um, axis. That, that said, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to give you any hints to B and C. I, I think you should be able to figure out. You're going to be substituting in the equation uh, to find out the information they uh, want you to find out. I do want to talk a little bit about profit. So if you have a business, your profit needs to be the money you make, right? So that is, so the profit is equal to the income minus your expenses, right? I, I bring some money in, okay? If I bring $1,000 in, but I pay out 500 in expenses, I'm really only having a profit of $500. Okay, so that's, you know, that's, um, I, want, I just wanna make sure you understand all the terms. All right, so because in, um, in C, they ask you about, um, you know, making a profit. So am I, profit is, am I bringing in more money than I'm paying out? Because then I do have a profit. I am making money. In D, they talk about the break-even point. So when you're running a business, biggest thing you want to do is you want to break even. You want to at least not be what they call in the red, which means you're spending more money than you're taking in, or you have bills you can't pay. Okay, so the break-even point is where the expenses and the income are equal. So it's where N is the same value, same number in both. Okay, it means that in both equations, N uh, the, is the, uh, the same number that makes them equal to each other. So it's some amount of cakes that when I finish with my expenses and I, I add up my income, I've broken even. I have the same amount of expenses and income. If I took home, if I took in $500, okay, and my expenses were $500, I will have broken even because my expenses and my income are the same. Okay, so N is the same number in each equation uh, to make them equal, so that they are equal. Okay, and I, I, I think that's enough information. Um, you know, I'm gonna be interested to see how this goes, um, but I did wanna give you a life context for what we're doing because this is going to go into algebra and pretty soon we're gonna be talking about the point of intersection uh, using different language. Okay, good deal.